Networking is way easier than you think. Think of networking as talking to friends, building relationships and what you already have done in your life. Think of networking as a habit, as an exercise that you are doing on a daily basis. How you can start? Start with those friends of friends that you already know but that you don't know too much about them. Start with that co-worker that sits in the office near to you or that person that is on that stand-up meeting every day that you don't know much about that person uh, and start talking to them. Try to learn about what it is that they like, what are their interests, how they do their job, how they work. Going to events starting talking to people that you don't know at all is not necessary. You can start with people that are closer to you. Networking is super easy when you think of building relationships. Today we are going to be sharing with you those specific things you need to do in order to start doing networking in order to find that job that you are after. When it comes to the time that companies start hiring and they already know you because you have already built a relationship with them, things get way easier. You already know the company, you already know the people that you're going to be working with, they already know about your skills, they already know about you as a person and they already know what it is that you're after. So the recruitment process gets way easier, it gets more smooth and it's more about making things work out for the company and you instead of you having to prove about your skills and your requirements. Why when looking for a new job it works and it pays off to do networking? Well, if you think about it, you start doing research about the companies you would like to work with, you start getting to know the people who work at those companies, but also people start getting to know who you are, what are your skills, what it is that you're after. So when it comes the time that the company is gonna hire, you already know the company, you already know what are the challenges that they're going through and what it is that they want to achieve, but even better, you already know the people that you might be working with. You know who they are, what they want, uh, what they think about you, and all these together make things way easier in the recruitment process. So the recruitment process is not about understanding if you are the right person for the role, but it's all about to make things work for both ends, the company and you. The first thing you need to do when you start building relationships and doing networking is finding the right people. How can you do this? First of all, go and find out all the different companies that you might want to work with. Second of all, is start finding colleagues of yours. If you're a software developer, then look for other software developers that are working in those companies and send them a LinkedIn message to engage with them. Tell them who you are, and what it is that you are trying to achieve in that relationship you are starting with them. So you identify the company, you identify the person, you send them a LinkedIn message to invite them to connect, saying few things that are about why you are interested in connecting with that person. For example, if the person is very experienced with distributed system, tell them that you want to learn more about distributed systems and seeing their profile and their experience, you think that they could be very helpful to your career. Many people is not gonna get back to you, but doesn't matter. If you send 100 messages and only five people get back to you, you already have five people helping you out with what it is that you want to learn. So that's why everything is about building genuine relationships. It's not knocking their door and asking them, hey, I want to work for your company. Is there any job open? Can I send you your CV? That's go not gonna work out. You have to build relationships. So what's the second point? The second point is to stay in touch with them and engage with them. How can you do this? Once the person has accepted your LinkedIn invite to connect on LinkedIn, you send them a message saying, hey, I would like to catch up with you once a month and you give them some options in what way is the best way for them to help you. You can tell them we can meet online on a Google Meet or Zoom or whatever once a month. We can catch up for a coffee or for a beer and we can talk about distributed systems. Or I can just send you my thoughts and my learning on distributed simple, uh, system for you to get back to me with your answers. Why it is extremely important that you are active on social media? why it is extremely important that you're going to be sharing your path with these people that you have connected on LinkedIn. 
earlier today, I said that you are going to send a message to these people that they can act as a mentor to you, helping you with the things that you want to learn. And I said that you're going to engage with them once a month. So if you are only talking once a month with this person, it's going to take a lot of time to build relationships, a relationship with them. So why it is important to be active on social media? Because when you're active on social media, you are going to be sharing your thoughts on these people posts. So they talk about something about distributed systems or cloud infrastructure or whatever it is. And you're going to share your thoughts with them in their posts. So people will start to notice you. Also, you can do this with the companies. If the company is talking about something, go to the company post and share your thoughts. So the company is going to be noticing you. Not only the person you know in the company, but other people that you don't know in the company. You just can't be sending a message to these people every day. They are not going to be able to help you on a daily basis. So that's why it's very important for you to share with them what it is that you're learning. So the first example I have shared with you is to engage with them in their posts. The second thing you need to do is to share your path on what it is that you are learning or what it is that you have achieved or what it is that is uh, not allowing you to progress. I know it's this part is hard. It is hard to go out there and expose yourself, sharing your thoughts, sharing your learnings, your frustration and all these things. But this is what it's going to make people to get to know you. It is very funny to think that someone can get to know you or you can get to know someone when you are posting on, on LinkedIn or any other social media, but it happens. It really happens that when you start engaging with them through a like, through an emoji, through writing a few lines, people remember why. Because those people are taking the time to write something and they are very aware of who is engaging with their content. So that's why being active on social media, it will pay off when it comes the time that the company is going to hire. So moving to point number four, keeping an eye out for opportunities is then where you have to constantly go to their company's career site, see what it is, the roles, see what are the roles that they are advertising, go to the different job portals and in the keywords look for the companies to see if they have advertised any role. And of course, if you really build a relationship with someone in that specific company, you can always tell them, hey, your company is amazing, I love the things that you are doing, I think that I could add a lot of value in this and these areas. Is there any open job where I can do a job application? So these four points are the ones that are going to help you to do networking and find that job that you are after. I'm not the kind of person that enjoys going to a meeting and doing networking with people I don't know. Not at all. But what I have realized is that I love building relationships. I love meeting new people, getting to know about their thoughts, getting to know about their perspective, their cultures. People from different parts of the world or people from my country or from my city. Uh, co-workers that are doing exactly the same thing as me. But you always get to learn new things. Again, you can learn technical things on how to do something in a better way or in the, in the right way but also you will get to learn about themselves. And that's something that I love doing. And, and what's the benefit of building new relationships, building genuine relationships? That it comes with a bonus, that it comes with opportunities. Opportunities that can bring money, if that's what you're after when it comes to a job. Opportunities to go and live in another country opportunities to start doing something completely different to what you have been doing until now. That's what I love about doing networking. And it's not networking, it's building relationships. So remember, the more people you know, the more you will learn. The more you learn, the more opportunities you will have. The more opportunities you have, the more choices you get. 
the more choices you get, the better chances to do something you love. Get out of your comfort zone, start talking to people, have fun, you already know how to do it, and this will bring you a lot of opportunities.